In this lesson I'm going to use the floors and show you how to do a simple slab layout for your work and drawings. If you remember in the floor by picking points I actually drew in the concrete slab for the living area and the concrete slab for the garage area and what I did in the um, end of that is I basically then duplicated the floors to a location and I moved the floors to the slab layout okay so basically now if I come to my view filter turn off everything display none and then untick the all location tick at the top then highlight the slab layout and go display all what that's done is basically the first one turns everything off because the all tick all locations was ticked then I untick that and then I've gone to the ground floor and said display all so it's displaying all on the ground on the slab layout only so now you notice here there's the slab layout the living area slab and the garage slab but you'll see it's grayed out and if I try and touch it I can't do so that's because my building locations down in this bottom corner is still set to the ground floor so if I drop the arrow out and then go to slab layout you can see now I can then go and grab that now to dimension this because it's overall brickwork and that would be handy to um, do my slab layouts for my work and drawings I would normally have to use the linear dimension so therefore I would have to say okay I want to turn the dimensions on and if I go from that point there to this point here drag it up pick a point and then go and grab it again and I want to go from that point to that point drag it up and lock it into there the next point I'd have to go and grab that point from there to there lift it up and click it into there and so on you can see that it's going to be a slow process so the best idea is to actually I'll delete those the trick you need to do is actually draw a wall so one of the walls I've mentioned before is a zero width construction line so if I go and draw the wall and I just go and pick the outside of the building I know I'm tracing around it but it's a lot quicker so if I just go around this now I'll only take a few seconds to get around there right click and finish then basically go to your settings under your dimension settings just make sure that your current style is set to your exterior style that's if you have multiple styles if you haven't then just use the one you currently have but I have a number of styles I use one for exterior and one for interior so I want the exterior style done and then all I have to use is the auto exterior dimensions and then the whole thing is dimensioned up for me all right so basically as far as the zero width construction line is concerned I can touch that now right click and go select all similar you'll see that the whole perimeter of the building is selected and then right click again and delete it so I've just temporarily used a wall to actually dimension it quickly all right so now what I'll do is I'll, I'll work another way so if you if your slab is a little bit different to the perimeter of your ground floor plan that's how you would do it if it's exactly the same you could with your ground floor plan highlight the dimensions before you um, when you do your external dimensions and right click and duplicate it there so you could duplicate the dimensions from your ground floor to the slab plan if it's going to be the same so that's two ways of doing it duplicate it to the locations or draw a zero width construction line around the outside and then use your auto exterior dimensions thank you